a simple swipe from the side can take a screenshot. Swiping down from the right can bring down the notification panel. Or swiping down from the left can give you super instant access to your favorite settings. Or let's say you're in Chrome and you swipe to open a new tab. But the S22 Ultra is a pretty big phone and being able to do all of that with just one hand can be really helpful. So get One Hand Operation Plus from Galaxy Store or the Play Store. And once you turn this on, you can define these swipe gestures on both the left and the right edge. And for each edge, you can define these six actions. So 12 in total. And you can assign any of these actions. I mean, this list is amazing. You can perform navigation actions or system actions or open an app or tools of your choice. There's everything you can possibly imagine. It's really cool. Now, there are so many times I take a screenshot by mistake and they just collect in my gallery. But now you can choose to have a simple delete icon, which when you press, the screenshot's gone. For this, you need to first install GoodLock. So go to Galaxy Store, search for GoodLock and look for this icon, then install it. Then open it up and go to Nice Shot. Then install Nice Shot and in GoodLock, you'll be then able to open Nice Shot. Once you do that, you'll see the option to enable add delete button. That's pretty much it. Another very cool thing you can do if you do use screen recording a lot is enable DND mode when you're screen recording. So your phone automatically goes into DND mode and you won't get notifications. If you'd like to be able to stylize your volume panel, the functions that it shows up front when you open it and be able to set up a custom volume for each app, you're gonna need Sound Assistant. Again, you'll have to get this from the Galaxy Store. All links will be in the description. Once you get this and open up the app, you'll see all of these themes that you can use, or you can just create your own. Set up a color for each of these elements and just save it. Though I really think the preset ones are good enough and you won't need a custom one. Another really cool thing you can do is turn on manner mode. So if you put your phone into vibrate or mute, then automatically your media volumes go down. And you can set up your volume keys to change tracks if you long press them. You'll also be able to set up custom volumes for each app when they're opened. And I think that's a really cool thing to have. So if you really want more granular control over your sound profiles, this is the app to have. And guys, before we move on to the next, if any of this is helpful, it would mean a lot to me if you could show some support for the channel. And all you gotta do is hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon, mark all. That's it. All right, now let's move on. Now here's a fun app for you guys to try, especially if you'll be using the S Pen. First of all, you can change the cursor. Second, you can try different kind of air command views. And did you know, if you double tap with the S Pen onto your phone's screen, it opens up a quick note pop-up. But you can totally customize what happens when you double tap. For example, it could be snipping a part of your display, or it could be opening up an app like gallery or camera or anything else. For this, you're gonna need Pentastic. You can download this from the Galaxy Store and when you do, You've got all different kinds of views for air command, which you can choose. You can choose which kind of cursor design do you want or upload a custom one. And you can decide what happens when you double tap with the S Pen button pressed. All of these actions are available for you or you can just configure to launch any app of your choice. Now, we all know that the S22 Ultra has a great display, but what can make it look even better is a collection of high quality wallpapers. And that's where this app comes into place. The collection is gorgeous, very high quality and totally wallpaper worthy. It's called CRISPR and it's an app available for free on the Play Store. And in addition to having wallpapers, it's got something called as collections, which is like thematic collection or curation of really high quality photos. By the way, all of these are curated from Unsplash. By the way, for every wallpaper, there are quite a few options. You can extract their color codes, you can crop, you can edit, you can add text effects, filters. You can even create a blur effect if you think the picture is too busy. For example, in this case, I could just go into blur, take up one of the free ones, and just do it. You can obviously set a wallpaper as home screen or lock screen from within the app, and you can also save the photo as JPEG or as a raw file. So we all know that the S22 Ultra can take fabulous photos, but to edit them and make them really pop or make it social media worthy, you need Lightroom. Firstly, Lightroom has gotten way better since last time. It now lets you identify objects or people or the sky in your photos and quickly make changes to only those things. So I can just replace the sky or just make the object stand out better or just apply color effects to something very specific. Right off the bat, it's got some really good filters or as Lightroom calls them, presets. And the nicely organized basis the kind of thing that you're applying those presets to. So it's really easy. 
What's really amazing though is that people at Adobe, they've been able to bring the desktop experience squeezed into a smartphone app. I mean, almost everything you see in the desktop app is right here. So you can obviously apply all the light effects. You can do color grading on shadows, midtones, and highlights. You can do color mixing. And as I said, you can apply effects specifically to a subject or things around the subject or just replace the sky. I mean, it just makes it so simple and everything that's in the desktop app is almost here. And even if this feels overwhelming, you have nothing to worry about. Just go into the learn tab and you can opt for any of these tutorials. All of this is Free. It will walk you through each and every step that was taken to achieve an effect. So if you want to know how to treat a food image, there is a tutorial for that. If you want to know how to treat a portrait photo, there's a tutorial for that. It's really, really cool. Now, if I got you excited about Lightroom, you're going to love Expert RAW. Basically, it takes a 14-bit photo using your camera lenses, any of the lenses, and then you can play around with all of these attributes as you can with the Pro mode. The only thing is it takes a lot more detail with the Expert RAW app and it creates a folder where it saves a JPEG copy and a RAW copy. So if you see the JPEG is 3 MB, but the RAW is 28 MB. Essentially, a 14-bit photo gives you a lot of flexibility and detail that you can manipulate and experiment and play with in the Lightroom app and get some really great photos out of them. And with this, hopefully you'll also learn a new skill that you can then use to really generate those great photos that you see on social media. All right, and that's pretty much it, guys. I think those are some apps that can really help you make the most of your Galaxy S22 Ultra. If you guys have any questions or recommendations, make sure you put them down in the comment section. And as always, guys, if this was helpful and enjoyable, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.